Today's Daily Dose of Math is about drawing a net drawing of a cube. Now we don't usually call the net drawing a net drawing, we just call it a net. We're drawing the net of a cube. What is the net? The net allows us to draw the three-dimensional object but in two dimensions. So what we're doing with the cube is we are unfolding it so that it will lie flat. We're showing all of its sides and we're representing it in a way that we would be able to fold it back up correctly to form a cube with success. The cube I'm going to use has a side length of five centimeters and I'm going to draw it life size. I'm not going to use scale in this example for this video. So therefore, all of the side lengths of the squares that I'm going to draw are going to be five centimeters in length. I'm going to very quickly draw my net of this cube on this chalkboard. Okay, so here's my net drawing. You can see that I have all six squares showing, so all six faces of the cube are showing. And they are connected together in a way that I can imagine folding this up and it successfully makes a cube. And I'll prove it because I've also produced the same net drawing on paper and cut it out. And I'm going to show that I can fold this together and make a cube. The bottom face on my hand quickly has all four of the sides come up and the top lie on top. And although it's hard to hold it steady because I'm afraid of crushing it, I have made a complete cube. It would be easier to show it to you if it was all attached together somehow. And you know what, for the rest of this video, it'd really help if I had this attached together as a cube. So I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna try, okay. Poof! Okay, that worked. Okay, so I have a cube, all six faces. This is my white cube, and it's going to be a tool that I'll use for the rest of this video. So that net drawing worked because I was able to cover all six of the faces. Now, are there other ways of doing this right? Yes, actually there are 11 correct nets that can be drawn of this cube, of any cube. And I don't have time to draw all of them and show all of them, but I'm going to show you a couple of them as examples. So here, I have two of the correct nets for the cube that are each different from this one. The original one in chalk looks like a lowercase t, the one on top here looks like an uppercase T, and then this one, I don't know what it looks like. But all of these will be correct. It's possible to fold all of these together so that they will form the cube. I already proved it with the original. Now I'm going to prove it with these two. Here we have the uppercase T drawn with red stripes on it. And I'm going to fold it over this white cube that I started with so that I can prove that all six faces get covered. So there you go. I try and twirl it around so we can see all the sides. I successfully covered all six faces of the white cube. So that proves that the uppercase T strategy works. This other thing I've also produced, turn it upside down there, I've produced this, and I'm going to prove that it also works. So again, I put it on my white cube and I fold the sides and I'm able to see, yeah, it's working. All of the six sides have red stripes on them. I successfully drew a net of the cube when I drew this. But how many correct ways are there of doing this? There are actually 11 correct ways of doing it. You're welcome to find all 11 if you want. But when you're just required to do one, let's say on a test, there are strategies that you can use to make sure that you get it right. And one of them is simply to memorize, oh, okay, the letter T works. So this lowercase T works, the uppercase T also works. Another is to notice a rule that all three of these are following, including the one that's not a letter T, which is that all of them have four squares in a row and then two others on the side, but the two others are on opposite sides. Okay, so left and right side, left and right side, left and right side, they always work when you do it that way. So that's a good rule to memorize. How about incorrect ways of doing a net of a cube? There are more than 11 incorrect ways of doing it, 
but I'm only showing two of them. So here are two incorrect ways of drawing a net of a cube, and I'll prove it. So this one on the top is breaking that rule. We drew the four squares in a row, but we have two extras on the side, but they're both on the same side. So taking my little white cube and trying to cover this with the, the green stripey cube, what happens is I haven't covered this side yet. I've covered all of the other sides. And up here, I have a side which is getting covered twice. And there's just nothing I can do about it. It's not going to work. This other one from below, I have reproduced and I try the same thing. And I have the same problem. I have this side not covered, all of the other sides are covered, and when I fold this down, it's covering a side that already had green stripes. It didn't work. So there is another example of the many different ways to do an incorrect net of a cube. So this is the net drawing of a cube or the net of a cube. It is today's Daily Dose of Math. Please like, subscribe, and share.